We are about to get on a plane to go to Kansas City to go pick up my new companion and quite possibly one of the rarest corgi pups I've ever seen. Let's go. And just like that, in a tunnel, go to Terminal B to get on a flight, travel three hours on a plane. About to board. In one second, I'll be in Kansas City. Can't worry about that right now because we've got a new friend to meet. Whew, so I have acquired the goods, but we got trapped in the air because of the storm, rerouted. Now we're stuck here until tomorrow. So we're gonna find a hotel that will allow this. I have never been in this part of the country before, but we're making a vlog out of it. Luckily, he is still past the F out. I can't wait to meet him officially. Uh, I haven't even taken him out of the bag. Oh man, we finally did it. Finally got a hotel that would allow a pet. We're gonna go check out that room after, but I think, I think he wants to come out of this crate. Billy and a little wiener. You peeing? Oh, good boy! Wow, we're potty training already. I am so stoked about that. You don't even know. Oh no, there's so many bugs around Gino. No, get off. Get off my pot. Get out of here. Missouri bugs. Wow, your eyes are amazing. Wow, that is one proud dog. Get that. Oh. Here. Oh. All right, enough of this. Uh, we're gonna go check out the hotel. It's kind of cool. Um, did I get a hotel room? Or did I rent an apartment? Oh, wow, okay, 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 okay. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> it's like, well, what do we do now? Well, let's get out some of your stuff. That was packed in here from the breeders. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's get out. I've got a toy. <laughs> yeah. This is what poop looks like before it's poop. We're gonna play until about five. In about an hour is when they're gonna be giving out free stuff, which I'm gonna take advantage of because it costs, oh my God, your eyes. You're, you're, you're so pretty. We're gonna take advantage of that free stuff. Uh, I'm gonna explore the hotel, I'm planning on tuckering him out, getting him to sleep. I've paid my, the, the pet room and board, so I don't even care if you pee. Go ahead, pee all over the place. Pee and poo. All over. That is not for biting, sir. This is. Good boy. That's a really good boy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, just lick in my mouth. If you can, preferably just inside the, my mouth. If you could just lick in there, that'd be that'd be great. I'm a happy dad. Little oh, but <laughs> We're gonna explore the hotel. 
That's what we're doing. Take it a couple of carrots for the pup. Yeah, sure. Thank you, sir. Oh. Appreciate it. Got a free drink, free apple, free carrots. That's gonna look weird to everybody behind me. Just kind of weird, but I want to see if uh, I want to see if Gino's down with a crunch. Now let's go find the gym. So I know what you're thinking, Kugo. You just drank an alcoholic beverage, and now you're gonna go to the gym? Yes. I'm crazy. I just flew to the middle of the country to buy a puppy. I'm gonna go back to the room first because I'm not going to the gym with carrots in my pocket. Oh, as you can see, we have a, uh, a mouth-watering menu of crunchy items and we're gonna find out what this nine-week-old puppy... Oh, hold on, we gotta take care of this first. There, that's a little easier for the little guy. So first up, we got carrot. Do you like the carrot? Mildly. Do you like the apple? Lick factor, good. Carrot. Yeah, the carrot's bullshit, right? You're licking my fingers because the apple, right? You like that sour goody goody. <laughs> so, enjoy. What do you think about room service? All right, later. Just kidding. Somebody pooped. Who pooped? Good news, everyone. Uh, there's no such thing as room service. There's no such thing in this hotel. So, my man's ordered some Chinese food at about nine o'clock. Whoa, would you look at that? It's 1026 and my order has been <gasps> Cancelled. <laughs> I'm going, I'm ordering from somewhere else. I'm going back to the gym. I present to you your room service, sir. Enjoy these delectable celery sticks. Would you like to try a celery stick and not the sauce from the wings? Here, have a celery stick. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? I'm gonna leave the celery stick there. <sighs> I wanted to talk really quick about this puppy and why this dog is really special. A lot of fans, old school fans of me, know that I actually had a corgi. His name was Basil, and we picked him up when I was with my ex, back when I used to be a married man. Now, long story short, things didn't work out, we split up and that was a joint decision between us and I decided to keep Basil and he helped me through some really difficult times in my life and he was a great companion. Over the next year and a half, I struggled with a lot of stuff, so much, and learned a lot about myself and I still am, but I'm definitely moved on to the next phase. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because I, in a really dark time, I decided to rehome Basil and give him to a family that had lots of time and effort and energy and love for him and also another dog that was going to be his brother to play with. 
I gotta admit, I regretted it <laughs> ever since. I miss that guy so much. I miss that doggy. But obviously, it's not fair to them. They have a happy family now. That's a, that's a choice that I made at the time. And I just had to deal with that. And I have been dealing with that for a long time. I miss having a buddy. I think about him all the time. And I knew I had to get over it. And I knew that every day that I, I didn't have a dog, I would be sad. And I knew that I was having some problems with love. And I wanted something to love again. And I hope that uh, by bringing this little guy into the family, be able to give him everything he deserves. I'm trying to look to the future. Enough of this. A big part of me becoming a better person over the next year is to move on from stuff, move on to big and better things. I have so much to love and so much to do and so many, so many great people around me and so many great things going on. And I wanna share them with this little guy and I wanna share them with you. So let's get on a plane and go home. Good night. Why did I do that to him? Please stand clear of doors and hold up to handrails. When the 8 p.m. stops, please exit and follow the signs to baggage plan B. <laughs> I got something for you. He's home. First toys. <laughs> you like that cold air? But you got donuts. And uh, I deserve a donut too. Yeah. We got some good cream. <laughs> I wonder how upsetty spaghetti Norman's gonna be when we come home. Norman is uh, my girlfriend's black cat who is a little older and a little bit more apprehensive of the other furry animal entering his home. Come on guys, you can't stalemate forever. <gasps> Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, well, uh, you two can uh, have your little staring competition while I get stuff. Sorry, that's a pretty morbid image of me hanging a sloth. Okay, it's the donut. You like your sloth, buddy? There he goes. Ooh, and then maybe just maybe it'll give him enough to do while I eat some food. KFC, I just figured out your next big chicken sandwich. Here it is. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom, boom. So he's safe and sound and home. But we have a new problem. There's a category five hurricane coming right at us. We have to go prepare for the worst. And the only place that has the supplies that we need to survive this hurricane is Target. All right, we're here to prep. We're gonna try to sneak this little guy in. Are we gonna get kicked out, Gino? What do you think? We did it. And we managed to get everything we needed for the hurricane. Right in there. <laughs> hurricane Wilma is imminent and will destroy <laughs> us all. Hurricane Surja. On the next episode, we'll go prepare. For Hurricane Clever. Hurricane clover next time on the mighty ventures we survive a hurricane goodbye